everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah and his time for snacks around the world. And as you may have seen from the thumbnail, we have multiple things today and including more than was actually in the thumbnail. Gonna be snacking. Don't worry, I'm not eating it all myself. I mean, I'm a fat chick, but let's be real. I've got friends here that are gonna be taken away from me probably and uh, eating some. But today we are going to start with, a, I think, a savory snack. Uh, looks like it's from Korea. Popping corn chips, grilled corn. Yes, product of South Korea. Okay, finally found it on there. Because on here you will have English and, you know, Korean. Um, because it is made for export and import into the U.S. So this is not one that has the sticker on it. It's just made this way. Nutrition information. Two servings per container. That's not bad because this feels pretty full. It sounds like bugles. I don't mean the horn that plays. You know that snack bugles that they say you can put on your fingers and make finger puppets out of whatever? I think I did that on a trip once. Um, if you rattle them around the bag, that's what they sound like. I hope you can hear that. All right. Enough of me playing with my food. It's Deborah Proof Packaging, so I have scissors. And off you go. Okay. Not for you, Oscar. I promise you, not for you. Although you'll probably end up with some anyway because cat. Okay, they're not like bugles. Although it's like bugles sealed themselves shut. Little triangular spaceship kind of deals. And that is kind of what they look like on the package too. But yeah. Corn, not really getting corn out of it so far. We'll see. Very pleasant crunch. Not overly salty. It says popping. I guess when you bite it because it crunches it, it's like, boo, it pops. But it's not overly corny. Corny? I mean, I'm corny, but you know what I mean. Um... I'm going to pass it around the table here. Yes, I know you can't see my people, but I've got a friend here and I have the hand over here taking the bag from me. So hopefully I will get a thumbs up or a thumbs down or something. Oh, I've got, got a thumbs up from over here. And over, oh, we've got, yes, okay. You get, all right, we have thumbs up all around and it's pretty much Fat Chick approved. Um, would I go to it first? No, there are other chippy snacks that I like better. Would I turn it down? No. Somebody hand me those. I'm like, yes, please. Give me that bag. Okay. Y'all who are snacking, chill out because we have more. I'm going to go to something sweet. I don't know how shareable this will be. This is from England. Thank you, Lisa. Miss Lisa Ladybird loves. Link there, down there, and all of that. Sent me a happy mail. And um, it had some sweeties in it. And this is called Dip Dab. And I'm thinking it's probably a lot like Fun Dip in the US, if you're familiar with that. It says, lemon flavor sherbet dip with a strawberry flavor lolly. All of the U's and all of the appropriate places for it being from England. Now there's a powder coming out when I rip across it. Oh, it's powder. I mean, it looks like some kind of drug. Seriously, y'all. <laughs> it looks like I have a drug-covered lollipop. I know I'm wearing some of it. Ooh. A little bit more tart than I was expecting, which is a good thing for me. Doesn't say... Oh, it did say what was on it. Hang on, I ripped it off. Sugar, glucose syrup, corn flour, acids, citric acid, tartric acid. There's there's where that tartness is coming from. Sodium bicarbonate, anti-caking agent. Try something or rather, something or rather, and some color. Oh, and once you get bite into that thing there, mm-hmm. And yes, we're all friends here, so who wants it first? You don't want it at all. Okay. The, the hand does not care for tart things. <laughs> yeah. 
He's going. So yeah, a little tart. Not too tart for me though. I'll end up finishing this, I'm sure. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Lisa, that was yummy. Okay, I'm gonna put this down for now because we have more. I'm going to go for another sweet thing from England. These are strawberry straws, contain sweet, and there's outer packaging that is not included with this that says contains other product information. So, we're just gonna tear it up. And you get a straw. And you get a straw. Reach, reach, hand, reach. Thank you. And I get a straw. Very chewy. <laughs> There's blinking going on over here. Yes, the, the hand has um, eyes, too. <laughs> it's got a thumbs up over here. It does not have a thumbs up over here. It's got a little tartness to it. Very chewy. That's two reasons that you won't like it. Oh, I get some back. Okay. And he's gone back to the corn chips. You get that? Okay. I'm going to set that down for now. You can keep chewing on that if you want. I can have that much at once. Mmm. All right. Yes, it's the same cup. It's time for tea. Because as many of you know, I record most of my videos on a Sunday. So. That gummy stuff is going to be stuck in my teeth for hours, I can tell. Now here's something. Mr. Porky. <laughs> I'm sorry. That amuses me. The inner 12-year-old is just laughing a lot. Um... Seasoned pork rind. Pork rind, salt, flavor enhancer, blah blah blah, wheat, blah 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 blah. Nutritional information. Oh, it's in the. Okay, hang on, there's two different ways to do it. Per 100 grams, which I don't even know how much is in this packet. 65 grams, but they give it to you for per 100 grams. Really? Okay. But if the packet were bigger, this would be uh, 212 calories. Carbohydrates is like one tenth of a gram. It says packet contains two servings. Yeah, right. I have a feeling that these are going to be like cracklings instead of like the pot. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Smells like pig flavored air. Hang on. Got them all around me wanting this stuff. Yes. Over here, we would call these crack ones. Oh, no. Mmm. Here. You better have one before I eat them all. Okay. See. And we're not even kidding. Go ahead and give him one. give you a big one hand okay we've got two thumbs up happening here oh my god these are delicious they're like they're not like cracklings because cracklings are super hard and really hard to chew these are not like that they're a little softer there's some hard bits but it's not like the cracklings that we know you got thumbs up going over here too oh my god this is a really good brand isn't it all right Mmm. Wow. He took it and killed it, didn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wants more? Wants more. Okay. Come on. We've given him another piece. There are worse things in this house that he could eat. Like, everything that we try to eat, he tries to eat. But he really loves this stuff. Okay, let me let you have some more before I eat it all. Oh, my God. 
Thank you again, Lisa. That came in my happy mail. Wow. Mm. Those are delicious. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. No, don't, do not hand them back to me, so I'll eat them all. Yeah, Oscar's down there on the floor right now. I gave him a piece, and he picks it up and crunches it and bites off a chunk. And he's just plowing through it. He loves it. Okay. Whoa. That was so good. Oh, my God. Okay. Merci. It's about the only French that I know. Merci. And we, oui, but... And that line from um, the Moulin Rouge song. Okay, that. But uh, I took the outer plastic off of this. This I purchased, oh, I believe at the European market in Greenville. I will have that information down below about that store if you're any place local. Um, the other thing, oh, the, the uh, grilled popping corn chips. I got an H Mart down towards Atlanta. And of course, everything else today came from this Lisa Ladybird Loves, who sent me some yummies, yummy stuff. But this is chocolate. This says it is from Germany. Oh my. Let's see. Four different types, it says, but on the front it shows more. I don't know. Finest assortment of European chocolates. Limited edition chocolate mousse. And yeah, it's got Christmas stuff on it because I think this came out right around Christmas time. I've had it in my little bag over there of snacks around the world for a long time. Oh, oh, aren't they pretty? All individually wrapped. There is cocoa mousse, white chocolate mousse, chocolate nut, and dark mousse. Okay, you can't have the things with bits of nut in it. You want that one? Okay. That's for you. White, dark, or regular? Dark. Okay, he's being quiet about it. Dark. I will try the regular, and we'll share the white for a minute from now. We'll, you know, do it all. Oh, it's probably Deborah proof. Maybe not. Okay. Why do I not smell mm. any chocolate? Yummy. Oh my God. It has a mousse inside. Wow. Okay. They all three have mousses inside. I mean, not the kinds of mousses that knock over my cat. We have invisible mousses in the house. We come across the cat every now and then, and he's splayed out as if he's been run over by a moose. We know they're invisible because we don't see them. But they keep getting him. I feel sorry for him sometimes, but then he looks happy about it. Hmm. Notice I just ignored the nutrition information because, you know, it's chocolate. Wow. Mm. All right. We know white chocolate isn't really chocolate. Yeah, there's a thumb over here already. But... as a natural break point well we'll do it like this and then I get to try another one all by myself <laughs> white chocolate technically isn't chocolate because it is just the fats from it it's not the cocoa part or whatever, whatever. But it is so delicious if it's done right. Mm. Oh my god! And this is done right. Mm. Okay, today we've been to Germany. We've been to Korea. We've been to England. And also via England, uh, the, those pork cracklins, I mean, that's very much like stuff that we can get here in the southern U.S. So we've been back to the U.S. We've been all over. And there's still meatloaf in the oven. 
for a little bit later for a very, very American type meatloaf. But my meatloaf is awesome. One of these days I'll record making it so that you can see how I make my meatloaf. Okay. But that is for another time. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to eat some more of that sour, beautiful dip dab thing. And, um, Maybe have another one or two of those chips before they're all gone, but they might all be gone already. Just saying. And hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Oh, I found another one. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. If you're not subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you would consider doing so. Hit that like button or dislike. You didn't like what I did today? Dislike it. That's okay. But please leave me a comment. Just, you know, be nice. All right. See you soon. Bye, y'all.